200 megapixel large CMOS sensor, a 50 megapixel selfie camera, a bright 120 hertz AMOLED display with 66 watt charging included. This is the Honor 90 and I've partnered with Honor to bring you one of the first videos with this in the world. So a thumbs up for your boy will be appreciated. Let's get it unboxed. So inside the box, you get the device. There's a pack with a SIM card tool as well as a clear case. We've got a USB type A to USB type C cable as well as that included 66 watt supercharger. Let's go ahead and remove the plastic. And here it is. So we've got curved glass on the front and back and then we do have a plastic frame. Now I know this is plastic, but it does make the device a lot lighter. It's just around 183 grams and it's just 7.8 millimeters thin. So it's very compact considering the large screen size. Now we've got quad curves on all of the sides. And I know a lot of you guys don't like curved displays, but uh, this actually makes it look quite immersive. And it also makes the already small bezels appear even smaller. Now, speaking of the display, this is one of the key selling points of the Honor 19. It's got one of the best displays in this price range. This is an AMOLED display, so colors really do pop. We've got a 435 PPI pixel density so everything is super sharp and there's also a 120 hertz refresh rate so everything is very smooth now the honor 90 also has a peak brightness of 1600 nits so it's super bright and perfect to use outdoors we've got 100 dcip3 color gamut this also supports hdr10 plus so if you're on platforms like netflix you'll be able to take advantage of HDR content. And if you don't have HDR content, there is AI video quality enhancement. So that's gonna enhance the regular content to make it pop. Now, Honor also want the Honor 90 to be easier on the eyes. And this is the first device with 3,840 Hertz, super high dynamic dimming. So when you're in different environments, then it's gonna seamlessly switch between brightnesses. And it's also a circadian night display. So as it gets towards bedtime, it's gonna limit the blue lights. If you're enjoying this video so far and you wanna see more like it, then do consider subscribing and hitting that bell icon. But let's talk about the rear-facing cameras. So the primary rear-facing camera has a 200 megapixel resolution. Now this is a large size sensor, it's 25% larger. It's a one over 1.4 inch CMOS sensor, which means it's gonna be able to capture lots of light, which is great for low light. But it also means you're gonna be getting really high detailed shots. As well as that, you can use the middle part of the sensor to get two times lossless zoom. And this is particularly useful for portrait photography. So you can take portraits at one times, which is the equivalent of around 23 millimeters, but optimal portraits are around the 50 millimeter mark. So with two times, it's around 46 millimeters. So you'll be able to get much better portraits. There's also a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera with a 112 degree wide angle of view. My favorite thing about this, however, is that it's got a 2.5 centimeter minimum focusing distance, which is great for macro photography. For video, you can shoot HDR video. You can also shoot macro video. And if you'd like, you can use two cameras at the same time with multi-video. Now, some of this is thanks to the chipset. This is powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 7 Gen 1 accelerated mobile platform. So this is a four nanometer chipset and it gives you around 20% better GPU performance and up to 30% better AI performance compared to the previous gen 778G. You also get eight or 12 gigabytes of RAM, 256 or 512 gigabytes of UFS 3.1 storage. And there's a huge vapor chamber. Now this is actually 147% larger. So when you're gaming or doing some intensive tasks, then this will remain cool. And with the capable seven gen one accelerated chipset, you'll be able to play all of your games. Right, for the software, we do have Magic OS 7.1, which is based on Android 13. And we of course do have the Google Play Store, so you'll be able to access all of your apps. Now, Honor have promised two years of Android updates and three years of security updates. Now, of course, more is always better, but in this price range, this is pretty decent. And one of my favorite features on Magic OS 7.1 is Magic Text. This is going to be able to detect text in an image and be able to extract that text, and then you can paste that anywhere. Very, very useful. Now for the battery, we do have a large 5,000 milliamp hour battery, which is quite impressive considering the compact size of this device. And that will give you all day battery life. And of course you can get a very quick top up 
with the included 66 watt supercharger. If we take a quick look around the device, at the top, we just have a speaker. On the left hand side, we don't have anything. On the right hand side, there is the volume rocker as well as the power button. At the bottom, there is the USB type C input as well as the SIM card tray. This has space for two SIM cards, which you can have active at the same time. And you'll also notice this green ring. So although we don't have an official IP rating for water and dust resistance, this will be absolutely fine if you get some water on it or if you use it in the rain. And finally, we have a single button firing speaker. Now I do prefer stereo speakers, like I'm sure a lot of you guys do, but there are some compromises you have to make to get to this price and the Honor 90 will be priced at. Uh, I actually haven't been given the price yet. So just after we finished filming that, guess what? I got the price. It's gonna be starting at 450 pounds, which is pretty good. Back to the video. Now for that price, having this display, the 200 megapixel camera, having the 66 watt charger included, does give you some good value for money. If you are interested in picking this up and if I do have any discount codes, I'll leave those down in the description below. What do you guys think of the Honor 90? Will you be picking it up? Let me know down in the comments. If you wanna see some coverage of previous Honor devices that I've covered, they will be linked here and here. And if you wanna see more content like this, then do consider subscribing and hitting that bell icon. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button. Thanks for watching. This is Saf on Super Saf TV. And I'll see you next time.